In this video, you will learn how to create a corporate PowerPoint slide with animation. The beautiful PowerPoint slide you will create today looks like this. This slide talks about five points along the journey. First, we talk about the start position and then we talk about the end position and then we define the five points along the journey using animation. On the first click, we have the first point along the journey, then the second point, third point, fourth point and the fifth point. So that is how we create this beautiful slide and I'm going to create every element of the slide one by one so that you understand quite a few interesting subtle techniques that help you prepare some good nice looking slide for your presentations. Are you ready to create this beautiful graphic? Great. So here we are on a new slide and let us start with the first one which is defining the start position. All we need to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu and pick up a simple rectangle tool and I'm going to click on the rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now this is the size of the rectangle that we want and we can always write our start position. And I'm going to give it green color. You see this, there are quite a few hues of the green color here. I'm going to choose the last but one and there is a reason why I'm choosing that and I'll tell you as we go along. So I'm going to choose that one called green accent six and then I'm going to go to shape outline and say no outline. So we are done with our first one. The next thing is to draw something that indicates that this one is projecting out. So that means there has to be some kind of a side uh, shape and we are going to do that using a very interesting shape and that is this one called as trapezoid shape. Trapezoid shape is under basic shapes and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to draw the shape. So this is how the shape looks. Then let us go to arrange, rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees so that the longer end is on the left and the shorter one is on the right. I'm going to move this shape so that it corresponds with the right edge of the rectangle and I'm going to adjust these uh, white squares so that the shape snugly fits at the right edge of the earlier shape we created. This is beautiful. The next thing we are going to do is to give it a color. So let us go to shape fill and now choose a darker hue of the same green color. You can choose any color you want as long as this one is the darker hue of the same color. The reason why I do that is it indicates that there is a bit of shadow uh, and this immediately makes this 2D shape look like a 3D shape. So that is the reason why we are doing it. And I'm going to go to shape outline and I'm going to say no outline. So we are done with one end of the graphic. Now I'm going to select both of them together. I'm going to press control G and that is to group it. And I'm going to make a duplicate of it by pressing control D. Control D is the shortcut for duplicate. I'm going to move all the way to the right. I'm going to go to arrange, rotate and say flip horizontal. And then I'm going to move it to the right edge of the slide. As you can see here, there are these uh, guides, smart guides that are helping me to place it exactly in the same line as my earlier shape. And now I'm going to say end position. Sweet, isn't it? I have not recreated the shape again. All I did is made a copy, flipped it horizontally and placed it on the right hand side. Now we need to have a connection between these two shapes. So we are going to go to rectangles once again, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in such a way that it touches the edges of both the shapes. And I am going to make small adjustments to make sure that everything works perfectly. And this time I'm going to choose a color which is of a lighter version of this one. So let us go to shape fill and choose a lighter hue of the same green. 
let us go to shape outline and say no outline and now we got the base shape as you can see here this is the shape we are talking about in this case I have chosen a much lighter hue you can choose that if you want so we are done with this here I am going to select this one and I am going to select this one and I am going to press ctrl G to group see what I have done here I have got this one as a separate group and this whole thing as a sec separate group then I'm going to add the markers for the events along the journey and the first thing I'm going to do for this is to go to auto shapes menu basic shapes and pick up the oval tool I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a circle holding the shift button ensures that the oval tool ends up giving a perfect circle then let us go to shape fill give it orange color then go to shape effects go to preset and choose one of the presets maybe you can choose something like this or choose this it is up to you let us choose something like this and here we have the background ready let us pick up another oval shape from basic shapes and then I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw another circle and I'm going to place it exactly in the middle like this I'm going to give it white color and I'm going to remove outline and now I have the first marker ready I'm going to select both of them together and press ctrl G ctrl G is the shortcut for group and the marker is beautifully placed then I'm going to complete the first shape totally so that I can replicate the shape one after another the next thing I'm going to do is to draw a box so I'm going to go to auto shapes menu pick up the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a box now this is going to hold the text for us so we can say uh, this is the point or this is the first point whatever that you want to write you can write here and I'm going to give it say black color and I'm going to remove the outline next we are going to connect this marker with this text label and for that we need to ensure that both of them are uh, centrally aligned so I'm going to select both the shapes go to arrange align and say align center and that ensures that they are exactly aligned then let us go to auto shapes menu pick up the line from the lines tool and then as you move your cursor to the object you can see that there are these connectors that pop up you pick up the connector from the bottom center and then as you move the line you can see that the next set of connectors pop out you then click on the next connector and that is it now what this means is you have these green circles that indicate that these two are connected by a connector now the beauty of a connector is you can move the shape and the line moves along with it so that is the reason why connectors are so beautiful then let us give it a thicker uh, outline so let us go to weight and then maybe make it four and a half points and give it uh, the same color as this uh, marker so I'm going to give it the orange color and I'm going to now select all these elements and I'm going to press ctrl G to group them so now we have got the first marker in place then I'm going to take the second marker here and then I'm going to place the third marker and I'm going to place the fourth marker now I'm going to use only four markers in this say in this case and if you remember in the earlier one I had um, markers that are upside down as well so I'm going to pick up this one let us go to arrange rotate and then say flip vertical and I'm going to move this in such a way that it is on the other end and I'm going to do the same way this way as well for this one as well arrange rotate flip vertical and then move this all the way up now the next step is to flip these boxes vertically so that the text points downwards so I'm going to click here on the first click I select the entire group then the next click selects this box then let us go to arrange go to rotate and then say flip vertical and we are going to have this come to the front so bring to front and there it is done 
We are going to do the same thing here for this one as well. I am going to select the box, go to Arrange, Rotate, Flip Vertical and then this box needs to come to the front, bring to front. That's it. Now everything is in place. We have the markers in place, we have the start position, end position, everything in place. It is now time to add animation for each one of them. I'm not really going here and replacing each one with the relevant text here. That you already know how to do. So I'm going to go to the animation step right away. Now I don't, I don't have to animate this one because this is going to stay on the slide. I'm going to animate the next one that is going to appear after the start position and since we have already grouped this one with this one, we are going to go to animations, go to wipe animation and we are going to go to effect options and say from left. So this one remains on the slide, then this one wipes out. The next thing is to have animation for each of these markers, I'm going to select all these animations, one, two, three, four, all of them one after another in the exact order. And then I'm going to go to float in option and I'm going to choose the duration as 0.5 seconds because one second is way too slow. Then I'm going to have all of them appear on click. So you need to say on click so that every one of these markers appears on click. Then we are going to do one small change. Here if you see the default direction of the float for all of them is from bottom whereas these ones I want to have from the top. So I'm going to select only these two while holding the shift button and I'm going to change float up, float up to float down. So that is the point here and since you've made the change you need to change the duration as well. Now we are done. And let us now go to slideshow mode and see how the various things operate. This one remains on the slide. Then this one defines the end position. Then on a click, we have the first point, then the second point, third and fourth. So that is how you, you build this beautiful corporate PowerPoint slide. If at any point of time you want to change any of the animation, you can go to the animation pane and you can see all the animation events on the right hand side. You can always click on any of the specific animation event and you can change it. I hope you liked building this beautiful corporate PowerPoint slide. Hey, are you looking for an easy to follow, comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online? Do you want to learn how to create beautiful picture slides like this, chart slides like this, infographics like this, 3D graphics like this, or in general beautiful slides like this, this, or this? Then please join our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. It is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. You get instant access to more than 650 step-by-step -step video tutorials, more than 225 text-based lessons, and more than 400 downloadable files the moment you join Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. You can sign up for a free sneak peek into the program right away. Please click here to watch a few of the premium videos from the program for free right now. I'll see you inside the program.